Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with T&D How Videos. Today we are in the Aguadilla region of Puerto Rico on the northwest side of the island. Today we will be watching post-hurricane restoration work on a 230 kV transmission tower. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald and I'm going to let one of their young engineers on site describe today's task. Hi, good morning. I'm Danny Melendez, transmission engineer for Burns & McDonald. We are here uh, subcontracted by Power Secure, one of the biggest contractor in the island, helping out on the Puerto Rico restoration after September 20th of Hurricane Maria when it hit the island. Uh, as far as location, we are on the west side of Puerto Rico and uh, on this job site we are fixing a 230 kV transmission line, a tower that was down because of the high winds of Maria. In this situation, they are replacing the base of the tower with a new one that uh, we found on an additional section of the line. The crews are ready to lift the top portion of the tower to, to put the base of the tower together and finally uh, complete the structure replacement. So here we are at the top of the hill. You see workers working on the base of the top section of the tower for lifting. And then we're also gonna see some workers climb that top section of the tower to attach guy wires and also the cranes that are gonna lift it. And now I'm gonna turn it back over to Danny for some more explanation. Well, basically these towers are designed for extreme wind. So they pivot in that well, that you see there. The only thing holding these towers are the guy wires itself. They pivot so they, they don't, pivot so the wind so doesn't the take wind them over. Doesn't, the only thing that retains the tower from pivot too much is the guy wires that are attached to the ground, and each guy wire has its own foundation. Perfect. So without the guy wire, there's no tower. The tower's gonna fall down. Even if you cut one guy wire, the entire surface can go down. Nice. That's actually what happened here. In my a tree hit the guy wire, then the guy, the entire tower just go, went down. So they're able to we were reuse able it. to reuse the top portion. Okay. But the base of the tower was heavily it's damaged. Destroyed. Okay. And what we did in this case, we were able to find another base from a different tower down the line. Okay. And now we're using the other base. For this location, right. and what they're doing is hanging the top portion of the tower in place so they can put together the base of the tower. This is this piece and this? Is this piece, the middle, That's the middle. the common mass, okay. what they call, and then the base is on the other side of the track. Okay, got it. Like, the three different pieces. Okay. Lift it with the crane, and then they're going to start working on the middle section. It's like a... Right. The bolts is the tricky part here. Okay. I gotta have the right bolts and the right elements to mm -hmm. put the towers together. So they're using the crane to lift the entire top portion of the tower. Thank you, Danny. Now there are a couple of things to watch for and listen for here. First of all, as we zoom in on this crane, uh, preparing to lift the tower, listen to the wind. That wind will factor significantly into today's work as the sun breaks out for a bit and now we see a bulldozer clearing some area out and let's listen to the crane operator tell us what's next. We're going to move it over then we got to switch the crane. Got it. Then once we get it re-rigged I'm going to pick it up and then they're going to pick this section up and bolt it to the bottom of what I've got. Okay. Then we're going to pick it up and hold it right over where it's going. But we're going to be within inches of being able to do it without having to re-rig it a second time. Yeah. So now we have the crane operator telling people he's ready to start lifting the top portion of this tower. So he's clearing people out from between the base of the tower and the truck. And now he's going to lift it and you'll see it turning a little bit in the wind here. See them trying to lift it and uh, pay special attention. You listen here how the winds pick up as they're trying to do this. And then in this next shot, you're going to see a guy in the lower part of the screen here who's watching and then he's going to motion cut and they're going to stop the crane. And next, our foreman Rodney here will explain they had to stop due to the wind. We need to do it the right way, the safe way first. And that's how, you know, we'll get it down, lay it down, put it.
Now put it together, get the 80 over here. No, with the wind, we got it then. Because with this one, we, we had to do what we had to do to get it up in here. So this is all we had to work with. Now we got the right tools to work with. We're going to get that over here and get it, get it off the truck and get it up here on the hill. So on this day, on this site, the decision was made to cease operations and come back another day when the conditions were more favorable. That in itself is not unrepresentative of what crews face in trying to restore power after a major storm. But it does provide some nice perspective on the scale of the task at hand. You have now seen our TND How video on Puerto Rican recovery efforts in Aguadilla. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.